Welcome to Doc Comics for part two of the lesser known Spotlight. Today we take a look at ten more Marvel Comics characters that may or may not have slipped under your radar. From the shadows of New York City to the cosmic realms beyond, these lesser known heroes each bring a flair to the Marvel Universe. So without further ado, let's get started. Silhouette Cord, the Shadow Manipulator. During the Cien Kong War, an American recon patrol in Cambodia called the Half Fools stumbled upon an ancient hidden temple of a cult known as the Dragon's Breath, which had remained hidden for centuries. It had been built upon a wellspring of raw primal energy called the Well of All Things. The inhabitants, aided by prophecy, decided to breed a superior race that would one day unite with the ways of the West. They believed that this union would produce children capable of harnessing the power of the well. The members of the recon patrol were to be the fathers of these children, one of whom was Andrew Cord, Silhouette's father. Thanks to her genetic heritage developed through many generations of selective breeding, Silhouette has the ability to teleport herself over short distances on Earth by traveling through the Dark Force dimension. She can melt into any shadow or area of darkness, thus entering the Dark Force dimension and then re-emerge on Earth through another shadow or area of darkness. Stingray, Guardian of the Oceanic Frontiers Walter Newell, an oceanographer, assumed the identity of Stingray after donning a specially designed suit equipped for undersea exploration. His origin involves a serendipitous encounter with the Atlantean king who entrusted him with the responsibility of safeguarding the oceanic frontiers. As Stingray, he became a stalwart defender of marine life and oceanic realms. His powers stem from his advanced suit, allowing him to navigate underwater environments with unparalleled speed and agility. The suit features retractable wings, propellers, and various technological enhancements, making Stingray a formidable presence in the deep blue and a distinctive character within the Marvel pantheon. Darkhawk, the cosmic avian vigilante. Chris Powell was the teenage son of Mike Powell, a cop and Grace Powell, a district attorney. One day while following his younger twin brothers into an abandoned amusement park across from their home, Chris discovered his father taking a bribe from mob boss Philip Bazin. While trying to escape with his brothers from Bazin's henchmen, Chris discovered an amulet that transposed him into the Dark Hawk armor. When his father disappeared not long after, he swore to use the Dark Hawk armor to bring the ones responsible to justice. Nomad, the super soldier outlaw. Jack Monroe was born on the day of the Pearl Harbor attack into an abusive home with Nazi sympathizer parents. After the town's secret was discovered, his parents were arrested and executed as traitors. Like all children in town, he was put into foster care with his sister. Growing up in foster homes, he idolized Captain America's sidekick so much that he adopted the nickname Bucky. On the day the communist Red Skull attacked the United Nations headquarters in New York City, Jack was injected with a knockoff super serum, allowing him to secretly assume the role of Bucky, who was missing at the time in 1945. He maintained his identity until 1955, when the impurities of the knockoff super serum became evident. When he began to grow paranoid and racist, he was put into cryogenic suspension. After a long stint of rehab, he was taken in as a partner of Captain America and took the name of Nomad, one of Cap's old identities. Later, he struck out on his own as a vigilante. Dark Star, the Soviet superheroine. Lania Petrovna was the daughter of a nuclear physicist, Sergei Krylov, and his wife, who were both accidentally irradiated during an experiment. When her mother died during childbirth, Lania's father was told that she and her twin brother had died as well. However, his children survived, and the mutant infants were taken into custody by the Russian state. When their superhuman abilities first manifested in adolescence, they were turned over to a government-run school for training Russian mutants. Darkstar became a part of a Soviet super team recruited to bring the Black Widow back to the USSR, but in the end, she switched sides and joined the champions of Los Angeles, 
remaining with the team until it disbanded. Rage, the teenage powerhouse. At 13, Elvin Halliday was exposed to toxic waste while hiding from a group of bullies. The chemicals eventually caused Elvin to grow in strength and in vulnerability until he appeared to be a muscular man in his mid-30s. Encouraged by his grandmother to use his newfound abilities for good, Elvin adopted a costume and name. Soon after his transformation, Rage confronted the Avengers and scolded Captain America for the team's lack of any black members. Rage left after a brief scuffle, but ended up assisting the Avengers in their next mission. After the team was reorganized under a new United Nations charter, Rage was invited to join as a probationary member. Slapstick, the cartoonish anomaly. When Steve Harmon entered a portal at a carnival funhouse, he ended up in the realm of the Scientist Supreme of Dimension X, with his molecules stretched across 3,741 dimensions. His body was composed of living, unstable molecules called electroplasm that the scientists helped him master. This essentially made him a living cartoon character. Using his new powers and a map the scientist had, Steve freed many captive Earthlings from the evil clowns from Dimension X and their ruler, the Overlord. Slapstick is an official member of the New Warriors, but in truth, he only joined because he thought it would impress women. Dark Devil, the Demonic Vigilante. Riley Tyne is the son of a Spider-Man clone named Ben Riley and Elizabeth Tyne. Before he reached his teens, his inherited powers began to manifest, but they also sparked his clonal degeneration. Kane, the degenerated first clone of Peter Parker, found Riley and placed him within a regeneration tank to slow the process. Kane then summoned the demon Zarathos in efforts to save Daredevil, but the demon attempted to possess Tyne instead. However, he was saved by the soul of Daredevil, who drove out Zarathos. During the process, both Daredevil's soul and a piece of the demon remained within Tyne, and he was left with a demonic appearance and certain demonic abilities. This also gives him access to at least some of Daredevil's memories, since he knows Spider-Man's secret identity. Night Thrasher, the vigilante tech genius. Dwayne Taylor was the son of Daryl and Melody Taylor. Daryl was a member of a military unit fighting in the Siang Kong War, which discovered the secret temple of the Dragon's Breath. At the temple, a powerful sorceress named Tai offered her daughters in exchange for their future offspring. Daryl Taylor refused to participate in the pact. However, his unit commander Andrew Cord and the other soldiers submitted to the pact. Years later, Ty sought revenge against Daryl. Using a form of mind control on Cord, she forced him to murder Daryl and Melody in front of Dwayne. Ty then stepped in and manipulated Dwayne's mind, clouding his memories so that he only remembered his parents dying, not who killed them. As the founder of the New Warriors, Night Thrasher led the team with a unique blend of combat prowess and technological innovation. His high-tech suit customized skateboard, and an array of cutting-edge gadgets showcase his proficiency as a tech genius. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of some lesser-known Marvel gems. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow comic enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button for more content from Doc Comics. If you have your own hidden favorites, share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support means the world to us here at Doc Comics, and we want to hear from you. Until next time, stay heroic, my friends.